who are the 10 anglers that are on the Bassmaster Elites who could be looking at being relegated down to the Opens? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button. Make sure you're part of the team and family. Let me say thank you. Thank you to all the people who are new subscribers, new members, old members, people who comment all the time. Thank you. It is overwhelming. Honestly, it's unbelievable, and I'm humbled and honored and really appreciate it. But if you're not one of them, click that subscribe button and become part of the team. Same day, different outfit, but I had to cut in here because in doing this video, it came to my realization that there could be no cuts this year. So what you're going to see after this is just the top anglers, the top 10 anglers that were outside of that cut line as it stands, but with all the new changes and the opens and the and MLF and even NPFL now there are lots of different options for anglers to go different places and to make money and to continue on their journey of being a professional bass angler so take that in consideration as you watch the rest of this I think a majority of us can say the Bassmaster Elite is on top of their game while they have had a lot of drama here in 2024 it's still probably the biggest platform and the most viewed bass fishing tournament series there is. It's not just the classic, it's all of the anglers that make up the Bassmaster Elites. There are some absolutely incredible studs that fish the Elites. But of course, when there's studs, there's always people that aren't doing as well as they had hoped or are on the bottom. Now you guys have asked for a long time, Steve, who are the guys who you think are going to be moving on from the Bassmaster Elite Series? And we do know that every year they take 10 anglers from 9 from the Opens and 1 from the Bass Nation or something. But roughly 10 anglers have to be relegated back down to the Opens or they just move on. And some anglers will move to the Opens and other anglers will move on to other fishing organizations and hope to continue their fishing career. But that sometimes is tough to deal with. And this list is just a list that I could go through. I did every angler for this year in 2024 and then looked up their stats for 2023. And you'll notice there are 10 guys that are highlighted right there. I don't know if you can see the highlight, but there are 10 guys that I think they are kind of on the outs with the elite. I don't know if they'll requalify. Also, there's people that double qualify, so it allows another angler to stay. But these are 10 anglers. These are the bottom 10 anglers over the last two years in Angler of the Year points, in total points. So I took their Angler of the Year points in 2024 and their Angler of the Year points in 2023 and got the exact sum. And these are the anglers inside that 10. Number one is Clint Davis. Number two is Rick Clun. But Rick has actually said that he this was his last year, so he probably wasn't going to qualify as is. Third is Bernie Schultz, fourth is Chad Pipkins, fifth is John Sokup, sixth is Buddy Gross, seventh is Todd Auten, eighth is Jamie Hartman, ninth is Frank Talley, and tenth is Cliff Prince. Now Cliff had 687 total points for 2023 and 2024, and Ed Lochran had one point more, so he was actually in that 11th place. And when you look at, once you get rid of those 10, uh, 10 anglers, and then you look at the next 10, 11 anglers, there's some absolutely big names that could be out after the 2025 season. But if they have a good season, then they don't really need to worry about it. And who are those anglers? Ed Lochran, KJ Queen, Kobe Krieger, David Mullins, Jason Williamson, Joseph Webster, Mark Frazier, Jake Whitaker, Brad Watley, and Mike Iaconelli. And next is Gerald Swindle and Scott Martin after that. Those are the top 12 anglers. So those guys really need to have a really good showing in 2025, or they take the chance of not requalifying for 2026. Then that just opens another ball of wax. When you have people like Iaconelli, Swindle, and Scott Martin in there, in that bottom 12 after those anglers leave, that's saying something because those are three absolutely fantastic names for bass but they need to have a good 2025 or they should be relegated back to the opens or do something else 
But we'll see. 2025 is still a long way away. And we'll have lots more drama and other stuff that goes on because of it. But what do you think? Do you think there's a chance that Swindle or Ike and Ellie or Scott Martin doesn't make 2026? That's kind of crazy. But comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take your kid fishing. Get your fish on. Thank you for this topic idea from everybody that asked. I appreciate it. But thanks. Cheers. And tight lines.